robust first computing is about computers, but it's also about people and society and how we get things done. Today I want to talk about Santa Claus. I'm calling this a just maybe video. It's speculation, computational speculation uh, about what seems to me a plausible idea. See what you make of it. Now, uh, one thing I need to say up front, uh, uh, I'm assuming that everybody is familiar with all this background material. Uh, if you're a kid who's wondering what's up with Santa or what Santa has got lined up for you, uh, I need to tell you that I spoke to Santa this morning and he gave me a warning to pass on to you that uh, good kids who want presents uh, will stop watching this video right now. Okay? So, go, go. All right. From a computational point of view, a lot of the history of life is about getting better at getting better. Evolution over generations is just the beginning. Learning by trial and error you know, can happen in a single lifetime. Learning by imitation is you know, extremely sophisticated. You get to learn from someone else's successes and failures rather than make them yourself. I mean... In order to do that, you know, you've got this light hitting your retina that you have to be able to parse as some guy's hand that's grabbing a stick, that's poking an anthill, whatever it is. And once you've got all that, you have to be able to map from an image of their hand to your hand grabbing a stick. You know, it's incredibly sophisticated. And you, you better believe we've got special purpose hardware for that. Hypothetical reasoning allows us to do that whole sort of thing inside our head. Imagine holding a stick and poking an anthill. Eventually, we get to the idea of being a programmable machine. It's a totally kick-ass move. That is a large part of the reason that we're so successful on this planet. And the key innovation is a programming language, a way of mapping situations and actions into a compact, transmittable form that we can move from one of us to another one of us or to some other species someday, maybe. And then they can interpret it. They can take that language and execute it so that they get the benefit of having that skill, that knowledge, whatever it is, without having to learn it by any of the more primitive means. So with that, I mean, we could have some lone explorer who manages to survive something completely unimaginable, but then their book comes out and everybody knows it. So... As kids acquire language, they become more programmable. And there's a period in there when they're very programmable. They will store and execute just about anything that you tell them. Uh, you know, if someone says hello to you, then you should say hello. Okay. Having that kind of programmability incredibly powerful and also risky. Don't want to tell them to jump off the staircase. So how do you reduce the risk? The number one source, the number one idea is trusted sources. You know, listen to the parents, don't listen to strangers. And this is essentially where we are with manufactured computers today, the ecosystem of manufactured computers. We've made them incredibly programmable. That's their strength. Uh, they can accept programming and do anything that they're capable of doing. Um, but we use passwords, administrator rights, whatever it happens to be, to identify the trusted sources. And the state of computer security today, the abysmal state of computer security, is in large part because trusted sources are not enough. Relying solely on trusted sources is not enough. What we need is the system itself to be able to judge. So this comes up in society, people as well. Just maybe the reason, a reason for Santa Claus is to ease the pain of this ultimate betrayal. Yes, 
the whole world, forget the whole world, your parents flat out lied to your face over and over about this. And now you're totally screwed. You can't trust the source. You have to decide for yourself what makes sense and what doesn't. In the moment of realization, that could be agony. But it's agency. It's independence. It's what makes the system robust. And with Santa Claus tale, it's not personal. Everybody, it's a shared lie. And once you get it, well, then you're part of it. The little sister, brother, they're babies, not you. And of course, they're all the presents. Thanks for watching.